Hey everybody, um, I got, uh, got a new knife in today, um, these are my mayos, uh, you haven't seen this one yet, it's a titanium liner lock, it's, uh, it's actually fairly old, it's a, probably like at least a decade old, right? Um, it's got a downswept, uh, blade, so, you know, it's as you, as you cut in a straight, as you cut in a straight line, you know, uh, the top part of that blade's gonna just bite in, and it's, uh, super, super nice to cut with. Um, the pocket clip is uh, old school Benchmade style. Um, they're probably actually transferable, but um, one thing that you notice about Bob's work is uh, if you look at it from far away, it has that subdued look all the way around. It's actually not due to its edge. <laughs> I examined it under a lens. Um, he, he likes to surface finish every piece of hardware on the knife to be about the same, even if they're made out of different materials. Um, for example, the clip here matches that bolster pretty well, right? Um, I have no idea if that's titanium or not. But, uh, you know, all the hardware seems to just match. Um, a lot of these makers who pump out, you know, five, six hundred dollar customs, and, you know, you always... For example, like Kirby Lambert, um, I've discussed with Oromoto at length, he, he makes the most... He makes really awesome knives. Problem is, he uses really cheap hardware, um, you know, just your typical black-coated screws, that look like they could strip out, or, um, you know, it's, uh, and his, his clip is really gross, it's a, it's a, it's a loop clip, so it's one of those deep pocket duties that, uh, sit at the end, and, uh, I really don't like that, I like the butt of my knife to show, I don't like visual, visibly seeing the clip start up that far up, um, it's a little weird, but moving on, I got my Mayo today, um, it's small, uh, I, I kind of knew that going into it. Um, I got this at a very good deal from someone that I would be glad to consider a friend in the hobby. Uh, she she is actually uh, very nice. I don't know if you guys know her. Uh, she goes by Karen. Uh, she actually offered this to me. I've been looking for one for a while. Um, as you can hear, the opening is very smooth. My camera will pick up any sort of grit for sure. Um, but yep, says Tom Mayo on the blade, uh, Hawaii, and, uh, if you look on the other side, I have, uh, one of the, uh, Super Steelies, uh, it's called 6K Stellet, I literally know nothing about it, other than it's very hard to grind, very hard to belt, and, uh, wheel. Um, hole pattern, uh, I, I like this one, I just wish it was matching on the other side, usually they are, but, mm, whatever. Um, the holes are nice, um. Every single one is very consistent. I don't feel that, you know, I feel if you drew a line, you know, it, it wouldn't, nothing's off, you know, everything is set a certain way. Um, you know, it looks like it, you know, it's a magic brush that paints these holes and each one of them, no burrs, you know, from the inside, from the inside either, they, uh, they have the same matching. Um, you know, they, they have they have the same sort of bezel inside. Um, apparently this knife was carried, but it wasn't really used. Um, so I, I first told myself, I was like, oh man, I really don't like this knife. It's just too short. I mean, look, I got freaking meat. You know, I got monster hands. Um, you hold it like this, so that's that's the first mistake I did. I thought that was a middle finger groove, um, but it's actually better this way. Um, so if I do that, it technically has as much reach as the uh, ATCF, right? Um, if we go finger to finger here. Um, yeah, it's pretty much there. It's actually a bit longer, if anything. Um, so yeah, it just, you know, puts less butt in the handle for that pinky to uh, roll up on. But, uh, you know, cut smarter, not harder, right? Um, I am very happy with this. Um, you know, I have a lot of people who collect knives, and they all told me to get a mayo. Uh, they're a bit plain subdued. It felt like a Sabenza, or it didn't feel like, because I've never really had too much time with one, but it, it handled like a, it looked like a Sabenza with holes. Um, but again, things you can't see on camera are the soul, personality, and the, um, you know, this knife has a, has quite a bit of personality. Every every corner, you know, the craftsmanship is top top notch. But honestly, at, at this level of knives, you don't really seem to notice that too much. Um, just because everybody makes a good knife when they've been doing it for this long. Um, 
but yeah, the craftsmanship is, I don't honestly need to say anything about because I, I believe it's the best up there with the best. Um, nobody really stands out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think, I think I can really get to know Tom through his knives and not through his, uh, without even having to talk to him. They, um, you know, they, they're very simple, no frills, um, but they're very serious cutlery. Uh, obviously, if you look by the steels, it's, they appear very simple and forgiving knives, but, you know, this steel apparently only certain people can even work on um, and do it to this uh, degree of success. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's a hand rubbed blade, so, you know, he probably spent a couple hours just doing the surface finish on that blade. Um, it is, it is tipped down, um, I'm not going to really deal with that, I'm just going to throw it in the pocket, really, it's so thin that I love it. Uh, this is actually considered a thin knife, and, uh, you know, the Mayo Covert or TNT is much thinner. Um, yeah, um, I, I might, I may opt out of going to a G4, um, the costs are quite a bit. And the people I would be going with, uh, I love them, but uh, I don't know about hanging out till uh, one day. I'm, I'm actually kind of a reclusive guy, uh, so that's why it's a little, it's a little weird to think about. But anyway, um, this is uh, my mayo. I love it. Uh, my next knife is going to be a canned onion. Something. It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a leak for all I care. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have an awesome day.